Hello and welcome. On today's video we're going to have a look at setting up DOSBox on our Raspberry Pi. The first thing I'm going to do is just find my imager and show you which version of the Raspberry Pi software that I'm using to do this video. The first thing we're going to really need to do is just make sure that our Raspberry Pi is up to date. So we open our command line and we type in the command to update. After the update is complete, we just need to type in sudo apt install dosbox and there should be a space between the sudo and the apt, the apt and the install and the install and the dosbox and that will run through installing dosbox for us. During the install, it will ask us if we're okay with it taking up additional disk space. And we're, yes, we're okay with this. So just type Y and enter. At this point, we now have DOSBox completely installed on our system. Now I'll be honest with you I don't know much about DOSBox itself I only use it via GOG and uh, the games there on Windows and it's automatically configured for each game so unfortunately I can't assist with that side of things but if we go to a website called Abandonware which we're typing in here. I'll link to that below so as you can find the site easier just by copy pasting. And we can find games there that we can use via DOSBox here on our Raspberry Pi. I'm just going to look for Terminator 2, the arcade game, simply because I know that works simply because it just uses the mouse. Just make sure to download the DOS version so as it's compatible with the DOSBox emulator. Once we have our game downloaded, we just need to go to Downloads and Extract. You can either extract here or extract to. If you're extracting to, create a folder and just extract it to that folder. We now need to find the .exe file, which is what I'm scrolling through the folder for now, trying to locate and once we've got that located which I eventually managed to do in but a moment we right mouse click and open with go to games and DOSBox emulator yes And here we go, this is our game now started and running. And this one only requires the mouse to play, so it's any games that require a mouse to play uh, a pretty good start. It is possible to configure buttons from the keyboard to a controller. I believe some are mapped anyway, but I'm not 100% sure on this because I've not found one yet. Otherwise, you can bring up this via Control and F1. If you know what the keys are, select the key, press hard, 
and press the direction or the button on the controller that you want it to be allocated to and don't forget to press save when you exit that area if you go back to the controller mapper you'll see that there's full screen if you select that add and then press a button it will then allow you to put this in full screen rather than in a windowed mode like it is here and the only issue there that I've noticed is I can't quite work out to do it as 4x3. It seems to be stretched for full widescreen or whatever screen you happen to have this on at that moment in time. I hope you found this useful. And if you find any more information on this or think I've missed anything, let me know and uh, put that in the comments below. And I'll try and follow up again at another time. But otherwise... Thank you very much for coming, hope it's been useful to you and take care.